Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today, I'm going to be unveiling my new theme. Now, as many of you guys know, that my town has kind of pooped out on me. I'm still waiting on that engine update, probably in September, to see if that makes it any better, but during my town tour video, I told you guys to suggest to me some new worlds. And the theme park world was by far the highest suggested thing. So, I have started on that. I want to show you guys the progress that I've made. Now, the first thing you're probably noticing, besides the entrance here, is the big Ferris wheel in the background. That is not mine. I'm using it to figure out how I want to mount these rides in here, and I'm using it for scaling purposes. Uh, it is on the workshop. It's by Stamsite. It's one of the top items right now. I highly suggest checking it out. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it. But I just want to let you guys know that that is not mine. I'm actually building one. You can somewhat see it over there to the left. But yeah, this is going to be morely a community project. The way I want to do this is I want suggestions from you guys. I'm going to get help from buddies. We're going to go in here and we'll kind of get everybody's take on different rides and games. It's going to be a big project. And I'm also thinking about probably accepting items from you guys. If you think you have something that is appropriate for this park, whether it be a ride, a building, it can even be something like pixel art. Don't be afraid to email me, I'll probably flash it up on screen. Send it to me and maybe we can just build this like a community together. Now I will also release this map to download each time we do an update, that way you guys get the latest version of the park. But anyways, let's go ahead and stop talking here and go check out the entrance. Alright, the park entrance. Now, I'm really happy with the way this came out. I like the color scheme on the building. I'm not 100% sure about the color scheme on the path. Uh, I might change that. I want to see what you guys think of that, but I do like the way the building looks. Now, this is the main entrance. You've got two areas here, those little gates. Now, say if you've already got your tickets, you can just go right through. If not, I've got ticket booths on both sides. I'm uh, really happy with the way this came out. Just It looks awesome. Now, you do notice a bunch of logic gates up there. They're not hooked up yet. I'm going to make that light up. Now, I thought about doing a full board and just writing welcome on that, but I, I think this sign looks a little bit better. But hopefully by next episode, that'll be lit up, and maybe it'll flash a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to make that thing do, but I'm really happy with it. Anyways, to go into the park here, you're going to go step in front of the sensor. The gate's going to let you through, and boom, you are in. Now this thing is pretty rough right now. I've got a mess. You see lifts, they're just random objects everywhere. Uh, I'm doing this park really different than I do most of my builds. I made some really key mistakes on my town about how I placed items. So you're going to notice some holes in the paths. You're going to notice that everything is actually off the ground. This is to eliminate a lot of collisions. To make this world run the best that it can. So hopefully a lot of you guys will be able to play with this world. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish checking out the entrance here where we go to the other stuff. Uh, you can open these doors and kind of look inside the ticket booth. There's nothing much in here. Uh, it's a double door. But I want the little details to matter. Now you'll notice through here all the green. This is actually the... Uh, I think this is... Yeah, this is the concrete blocks. I painted them green. This kind of looks like grass. I don't like the brown floor, so I figured all the uh, spots off the path might as well have this. That way it looks looks nice. Now one of the first things you notice here is our big, this is kind of like a little just water area. I don't want to call it a fountain because I don't actually have a fountain in here, but I'm probably going to put one in. I do need to eliminate the texture on the uh, that creates those lines in the glass because if you didn't have those, this would actually look really close to water, so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, that's not going to affect the game world. It'll just show up on mine. Uh, if you guys download it, you're still going to have those little tile textures. But yeah, walk over here. Now, like I said, not my Ferris wheel. It's a really neat Ferris wheel, though. It looks really complicated and looks like it took a little bit to build, but he's actually powered this with rockets. And I think I might do my Ferris wheel the same, just because I think that's going to be the best way to go to eliminate having a bunch of connections. But... Really neat Ferris wheel. Uh, I was just trying to figure out how big I wanted mine and kind of the scale to the rest of the park. Uh, you can see how I'm going to weld these rides down. Now what I'm going to do with all the rides, I'm going to put them up on stilts. That way I can delete those and save it onto a lift. That way I can put the rides on the uh, workshop. 
And then once I'm ready, I'll create a little platform and I'll weld it down. You can see I weld at the corner there. And it seems to actually run really good. I was afraid that there was going to be some sort of lag from this, but really nice. But yeah, I've started my Ferris wheel over here. As you can see, I've got basically zero progress made on it. I've just been measuring everything out. I actually started the wheel and maybe I deleted it. I have it on the lift, or at least I think I have it on, I hope I have it saved on the lift. But yeah, I'm going to have one. It's going to actually be in that spot there. But I figured almost every park has like a center ride when you walk in, whether it be a merry-go-round or a huge Ferris wheel. So I figured I'm going to go with the Ferris wheel. And that will be our center ride. Now over here you see a little stall. I've been experimenting with how I want to do like food stalls because I want this to look legit so it's not just going to be rides. Uh, this is a little pizza stall that I started to work on. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might switch some things up but this is just stuff that's flowing through my head right now. I want a lot of feedback from you guys so that's why I'm really excited about this being morally a uh, community build. But yeah, if you guys have any stalls that you've made or anything that you want to make for the park, you can always just make sure you save it on a lift and you can always shoot me over an email and I can check it out and see if maybe we can put it in here. But I know I want to have some sort of food court somewhere. So I'm not sure where yet. But yeah, this is the other ride. This is my ride that I've been working on. I'll probably flash a picture on the screen showing what this is supposed to look like. And I've been on one of these rides before and they're really fun as long as you can handle the spinning. As you can see I have it hooked up on controllers here. Now the arms they spin and they'll do 360s and also the seats will spin too. Let me go ahead and hop up here and you just kind of have to hold on. Now midway through the ride it actually stops and reverses and so does the uh, seats. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, I haven't worked all the bugs out of it. I'm working with those, if you see up at the top, there's a counterweight up there. And I'm trying to find the sweet spot with the weight because this thing down here is heavy. So when it turns, sometimes it'll pick up momentum and swing really fast. So I'm trying to counter that with those weights at the top. So this is not final, but I'm going to go ahead and start it up here. So say if you come up, uh, well, I'll have a little path here. You can exchange your ticket and get on the ride and you'll control it from in here. So let's go ahead and hit that button. And there we go. Now it is a little fast, but you can see that momentum change. You'll see it kind of slow down. And that's why I'm experimenting with the weight in the back, but pretty happy with the way it's come out so far. It does need a little bit of work. I need to finish the uh, platform here, but pretty cool. I might actually try to hop on here in a second. Let me go ahead and turn it off, let it reset, and I'll show you the controller settings here at the bottom. Now here it is. Oh, oh, there it is. As you can see, uh, one and four are the long arms and two and three are the bearings that are on the seats. And you can see half of the rod is spinning one way. It's going to stop swinging around and spin the other way. Now I'm not sure this is going to be final. I might eliminate one of these to have the ride kind of pause and then reset. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but it's pretty close to being done. Let's go ahead. Hmm, maybe I should just stick a... I might be able to do this. Let's try to hit this. See if we can hop in. There we go. Oh, this is oh, this is terrible. Hold on. See, that's one thing I don't like about Scrap Mechanic. The camera doesn't actually follow the head, so you can't actually get the full effect of the ride. You actually have to just watch it from out here, but still looks really cool. Man, that's... See, there's that shift I was talking about. That's uh, really awesome. Now, that's those little hang-ups you're seeing. That's where I'm balancing the weight out a little bit, so I need to figure that out. But it should stop here in a second. It's got a couple more cycles, I believe. So as soon as I figure that out, I'll put this up on the workshop. I'm not quite through with it yet. This is really just going to be an introduction video to the park. Uh, nothing is really finalized. I wanted to get some feedback before I start releasing stuff. And before I decide where I'm going to go next. Now, like I said, this is a community project. So give me suggestions below. I've got a couple things already planned out. I know I want to do some more rides. I know a roller coaster is going to be suggested. I need to figure out how that's going to even work. I might have to get some buddies in on the roller coaster. But I do want to have at least one of those in here. Uh, other things I have planned, I might do a fun house. I want to put some like a midway with some games in there. And I do want to have the normal buildings that a theme park would have. That'd be like food courts, maybe a gift shop and stuff like that. But this is all going to depend on you guys, uh, suggestions. 
Uh, let me know what you think below. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. I've been working hard on this, and this was decided pretty last moment because I was really debating on the different themes that I wanted to do. And I just figured this is a thing that you guys really want to see, so I'm kind of happy I went with this one. But anyways, guys, like I said, uh, scheduling-wise, it's going to probably work out where I can get two of these done a week. Now, when I do an update on these, it might only be a ride. It might only be a small section of the park. Uh, I'll try to do as big of updates as I can. This is going to be very similar to the town, so as long as you guys have some patience with me, we will get this thing complete. But anyways, the download is in the description below if you'd like to check it out. Now, I'm going to take that ferris wheel out before I host this download since that is not mine. But we will replace it with one of my own ferris wheels. But anyways, I'll give another update on this probably Friday or Saturday along with all my other videos. Probably going to be playing some Terra Tech. Might return to Chicken. Not 100% sure about that. But anyways... If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.